Good morning. You know, people have been asking about cup sizes, um, you know, enough to hold their Nespresso drinks because the Nespresso coffee makes that crema, the, the oil that foams up with air on top of the coffee. So if you've got, say, you know, an eight ounce cup of coffee, it may fill up your mug a couple more ounces with crema. Or um, if you've got a double espresso, you got 2.7 ounces, almost three ounces, but it might fill up, uh, let's say, well here, let me show you some cups because I've got them set up here. So here's a regular, you know, little coffee mug, okay? And this one actually holds about 12 ounces, which is a very common size for a coffee mug. And if I put my double as, okay, if I put my 7.77 ounce, almost eight ounce coffee in here, it might overflow, okay, because of the crema. So I like to use a bigger cup. All of these cups here hold about 14 ounces. This is just my funny pessimist mug. This is an espresso Virtuo mug. This is the Nespresso cup that you get when you, you know, as your welcome gift for a Virtuo. And these two actually hold the same amount. This, see, this one is fatter at the bottom than that one. Okay, about 14 ounces. This is a Tezo cup I got at Starbucks several years ago, and it holds about 15 ounces. Okay, these were very popular. All right, now here, here's a Tervis cup. All right, you can drink your coffee out of a Tervis cup. I myself don't care for it out of a Tervis because the lip is too thick, and somehow or another, I want to be drinking coffee out of something with a thinner lip. So here I have an espresso recipe cup and it holds 16 ounces. And this is a crate and barrel, crate and barrel caffeine cup. It also holds about 16 ounces. So you know what? You've got them. These three hold the same amount. You've got to just go ahead and measure and see how much your cup will hold, okay? So, a little talk about coffee mug sizes. And particularly, I used a lot of see-through glass ones because a lot of us who drink Nespresso coffee like to watch that coffee brew. So, this morning, um, well, I went out to get my silk coconut almond almond coconut milk and I couldn't find it but I found almond breeze now the silk has 35 calories a cup because it has three grams of fat this one has 3.5 grams so that extra 0.5 brings this up to 40 calories a cup still you know you're not going to put a whole cup of it in your coffee right oh good morning tomorrow hey if you're watching please say something so let's see i guess um you know what i'll use my caffeine mug okay and hey tracy good morning i'll shake up my almond breeze almond milk coconut milk blend and no i'm not measuring how much i'm putting in here okay but this is a 16 ounce cup you can hear Grayson in the background there playing with his squeaky toys. So let's see if I can get this all to where you can see it. Move some of these cups out of the way. Um, will this fit? Yes, that fits okay. Here, I'm gonna turn it around so that, sorry, I'm swinging you all around because yes, are you saying good morning? 
Are you saying good morning to everybody? You're such a good boy. We'll go out in just a few. Yeah, we'll go in a few minutes. And Tracy asked if I have a milk frother. I sure do. But I, I find, shh, hush puppy. If I go ahead and put the milk in the cup first, like this, and then I brew my coffee. And I'm going to make this morning the um, Bianco Forte, which is made, it's uh, been blended to be good with milk. So let's see what happens in this 16 ounce crate and barrel caffeine mug, okay? Go dog bed, go play with your toy. We'll go out in just a minute, okay? All right, and here comes the coffee. Hey Dwight, good morning. So you can see already the milk is getting frothed up. Good morning, Annette. Oh, we're all up early this morning, aren't we? It's 7.17 a.m. on the east coast of the United States. Of course, to my body, it is 6.17 a.m. <laughs> um, okay, so look at all of the crema. And there's extra crema because some of the fat in the milk is frothing up. Just, you know, by, because it's being hit by that hot coffee. So it's making a froth. Of course, the crema in the coffee itself is being formed because up in here, the machine is spinning at super duper high speeds, that capsule with the coffee in it, and that causes the oil to uh, separate and froth up with air bubbles. So, all right, look at this. I probably had about three, two and a half or three ounces of milk in there. And this is a 16 ounce mug. And look at what we've got here, okay? So if I had, this was a seven, an almost eight ounce capsule of coffee, all right? Makes almost eight ounces. And then the milk, let's add, let's say 10 and a half. And then, you know, it's a good thing that I used the 16 ounce mug so that it wouldn't, you know, everything wouldn't overflow. So Annette says she loves to froth her milk. You know, I like that too, but I'm also a lazy daisy. And um, I don't like to have to wait and I don't like to have to clean something else. This way, I don't have to clean anything except my coffee cup, which I will pop in the dishwasher. So that's a little coffee talk this morning and a little word this morning, something to think about. Let's get my napkin for the spoon here. Something to think about. Is being too busy really a thing? Mm -mm, that's a myth. You do, you make time what you, you know, you do what you want to do. You make time for what's important to you. Nobody's really too busy. It's just a matter of what priorities you have. Okay, I'm going to drink my coffee. I got places to be this morning, and I got to get going quick. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you ever find yourself saying, oh, I really want to do that, but I'm just too busy, do you really want to do that? Because being too busy is a myth. If you really want to do something, you'll make time for it. God bless you.